This is the original WRM 3x3. Upon its release back in early 2019, there has always been an insane amount of hype surrounding this puzzle. But nearly two years later, with all of the new flagships, is this puzzle still worth it? Hey guys, it's me Ram here and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys why I still main the original WRM 3x3. So let's begin with some basic specs. This puzzle is priced at around 39 US dollars, which is quite a bit cheaper than the flagships from GAN and GE. It is 55.5 mm on each side and can be bought in black and stickerless. The stickerless shades contrast quite nicely and I've had no problem whatsoever with recognition. When you first get this puzzle out of the box, it feels like a mixture between the GTS 2M and the GTS 3M, two puzzles that I have really enjoyed in the past. It has that papery smooth feeling that the GTS 3M had, just with a little bit more crunchiness in the turns. In my opinion, out of the box, the magnet strength felt a lot like the GTS 2M, which in my opinion is too weak for this puzzle, so I added extra magnets to each edge half. For my setup, I used a ton of angstrom dignitas on the pieces, followed by two drops of cubicle lab silk. This gave the puzzle a less crunchy and more smooth feel, kind of like the original GTS 3M. The performance on this puzzle is up to par with all the modern day releases. Corner cutting is over 45 degrees for forward and around line to line reverse. One small issue I've had with this puzzle is that I do get some minor catches while spamming TPS on my last layer. Now, this isn't a deal breaker because my turning is pretty rough during last layer. However, it is a thing to consider. Pops and corner twists absolutely never happen on this puzzle and they're not really a thing you should really think about in 2021. Before I answer the big question why I main this cube, let's hear from a couple of special guests who also main this cube and talk about why they do so. I've made the WRM for more than a year and I really like the cube. Uh, it's smooth, it has a good speed, and I get great times on it. I really don't have any problems with the cube and I highly recommend you use it. Oh my god, I locked up a lot there. That was... So the WM2020 is still my main for the foreseeable future for a few reasons. The main one is that there isn't much I don't like about it that would push me to buy a new cube or the WM2020 version. Now I haven't tried the 2020 so I can't say it's objectively better per se, it just, uh, the 2019 still works great for me and I still enjoy the feeling. I think it's the most reliable for me out of all my cubes, like I've dabbled in other cubes but I've always come back to the worm because it's just like the most reliable and I think it really responds well to all setups and you can really customize the feeling for you. And going on from that, I think, like, no matter the setup, it's got really good flow. Um, and, like, flow is one of the key characteristics that I think makes it feel like an overall, like, holistically good cube, as opposed to randomly turning a cube that might feel nice. If it flows well in solves and actual algs aren't being hindered, it's pretty good. Now let me talk about why I still main the original WRM. First of all, G 3x3s are honestly way too stable for me. I've had the Volk Elite and didn't enjoy it. My turning style relies on flexible and fast cubes and wall cubes are too slow plus I'm not a huge fan of its feeling. My second choice would be a GAN cube, but there are two main issues with them. They are way too unstable and expensive. Like I said earlier, my turning relies on flexible cubes but GAN cubes are too flexible to a point where it actually causes me to lock up and hinders my turning. So overall, I like the balance between speed, stability and flexibility on MoYu cubes. Regarding other MoYu flagship puzzles, the WRM2020 for me was too fast, unstable and didn't corner cut too well. I never ended up trying a very well set up RSCM 2020 either and the GTS 3M was perfect as a cube but the ridges made the cube feel clunky and I have quite small hands. Therefore, I chose the original WRM and also added extra magnets to replicate the magnet strength of the GTS 3M. I feel like this cube will be quite hard to beat for me since it has all the qualities I value in a cube. So that's about it for this video on why I still main the original WRM. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed and goodbye.